Hello, welcome to my visual diary. In this visual diary, we escaped the winter and we are spending a couple of days, maybe weeks, on the Canary Islands. We're gonna surf, we're gonna enjoy good food, good company, and the most important and good visual content, which is happening all over the place. We got this Defender from a friend of mine, Pablo. Pablo, you're gonna be the star of my new visual diary. Yeah, and we are just exploring the island. Welcome to the Visual Diary. After a very long break in the water, like you feel a little bit stiff, that's why I went with a little bit bigger board, so that I get back into the routine of paddling. But I got some really nice waves and I'm happy. Exactly what Defender was made for. Alrighty, so we just came to the beach. It's called Cofete. It's on the south uh, part of the island. It's like just wild, sandy, slash a little bit rocky mountain beach. And it's just super long. And I'm just so grateful to have this Defender. Um, you can really just come to the places where you would usually not go with a normal car. We're just spending the day in the south and just exploring the island. And yeah, with this beast, it's just amazing to just go wherever you want to. So first things first, snack on the beach. It's Denis Cebulek and Francesca Lesh. Okay, I open the door. Thank you. Bienvenidos a Lanzarote. Film. I think especially on Lanzarote like just the vibe just comes through and actually this is the camera that my dad gave it to me um, probably like six years ago and I don't know it just looks so vintage and the photos that they come out are really really vibe 
50 millimeters uh, lens 1.8 1. 1. yeah and the film that i'm using right now it's actually the first time that i'm using it's uh, kodak portra 400 before i was always shooting on gold and i'm really looking forward to see the results on this one so yeah lanzarote it's different i have a feeling that i'm somewhere you know in santorini all white morning from Lanzarote we're having the first breakfast oh, it's just so beautiful like all the fruits the aesthetics it really calms my mind you know it's exactly what I needed after a very busy and intense year to just relax here and to recalibrate let's enjoy a couple of days more We got super lucky since being here the waves were pumping we got some good surf and yeah luckily there is a big surf contest happening every year especially when the swell is huge there is a Kemao open the waves are deadly a couple of guys already died here and the swell that arrived it's big So guys, the content is over. It was really, really crazy to see these kind of waves. It's, it really feels like, I don't know, like, I would say pipeline in Hawaii, uh, the biggest waves uh, probably in Europe at the moment. I mean, this swell was incredible. Like the waves and these guys are literally put, risking their own life to take these kind of waves. You can really feel the energy of the ocean just, I don't know, standing next to 50, 100 meters away. And you can really feel when the lip hits the reef it's fucking scary i don't remember when i had so many beers here i'm drinking literally canyas every day yeah, beer after surf beer everything and canyas they just feel way more easier um because it's just because of the size and i don't know they're just way easier to drink so cheers to that yeah we're gonna eat something more we are actually staying right now at the monument of cesar manrique such a beautiful place